Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Jason Dutch with Voice from the Underground, the podcast. As we say on the podcast, we are a gnarly, spirited, super dope, and often mind-numbing juxtaposition of politics and pop culture coming straight from the underground and into your earballs. So yeah, it's me, Jason Dutch, and I am here uh, just with a real quick video tonight. I don't usually do videos. Uh, it's something that we're going to start doing a little bit more on VFU, um, but uh had something disturb, uh, heard some disturbing shit yesterday um, on local radio here, and just wanted to post something online about it. Um, I've sent it to a couple of media outlets. Nothing happens have, has happened with this yet. Um, got some momentum on Twitter. If you want to follow the Twitter account, uh, you can follow my Twitter account at Dutch Jason. That's D U T C H J A S E N. Or uh, at the brand new, as of yesterday, uh, Voice from the Underground, uh, the podcast Twitter, which is VFU underscore podcast on Twitter as well. That's the same, almost the same as our Instagram, which is at VFU podcast. Now, uh, let's get to, let's cut to the chase here. Um, As I said, I'm not going to take a lot of time. Uh, Yesterday, I was driving, uh, had some chores to do, I was listening to KNZR, which is conservative talk radio. So yeah, um, not a big fan of the conservative movement these days, but um, especially as it pertains to Trump. But I do like to, you know, listen to other perspectives. And even though these are like some of the the personalities on the show are just to me absurd, uh, you know, Hannity and Limbaugh and you know these types of characters. Um, but you know, I just want to hear what they have to say and then I can pick and choose what tiny little grains of truth there may be in there. But the local guy that does the the afternoon drive show, his name is Terry Maxwell. And this is a guy who, um, I will throw uh, a a little bio of, not a little bio, but a little history of him at you. Uh, He was a former, I believe, Ward 2 um, representative councilman here in Bakersfield from probably before I lived here or just early on after I moved here um, and got buried alive looking for re-election. He um, is basically one of those guys who is just ridiculously opinionated. I was talking to a local, um, you know, who said, uh, said calling him a slime ball, we putting it lightly. And that's a quote. Um, you know, th- this guy had said that he's a racist dickhead and it's no secret in Bakersfield, Maxwell, he says, and I'm not going to give this guy's name up, but his name is Matt, or his his whole name, but his name is Matt, um, uh, was an awful War II councilman. He lost huge in his last election, ran two businesses into to the ground, one for selling spoiled meats uh, and steaks doused in salt to customers. So his next move was to become a bootleg limbaugh. Maybe he'll get a presidential medal of freedom. Uh, so let's get into, uh, and by the way, he also has had a lawsuit filed against him for wrongful termination against a woman whose last name was Del Toro, who observed a lot of foul crap at his restaurants, uh, which was called, I believe, T.J. Maxwell's. Um, but all of that pales in comparison uh, to just some of the racist shit that I heard on his show yesterday. And I'm just going to go ahead right now and uh, play this for you guys. So let's get, uh, let me get this file here pulled up for you and, uh, we'll go from there. And, uh, sorry, I'm no, I do ask for your forgiveness because I'm kind of new with the video aspect of this, but I will get fucking better. So don't worry about it. So now here we go. Show, KNZR. Hey, good afternoon. I hope you're having a great day. We're, in, we're into our second hour here on the Terry Maxwell Show, KNZR. I I don't know how to tell you this, but 
I did. I didn't watch the the Democratic National Convention last night. Oh. I, I I went to turn it on and it's like uh, it's been a long day. <laughs> Why would I want to do this? I, was, I, was, I couldn't do it. I, 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 and then, and then when I was flipping through some of the channels, and then they had um, um, Michelle Obama on, Michael, Michael, Michael on. <laughs> Boy, she is looking more like a Michael these days, isn't she? I'm telling you. I mean, she is. She's buff. She looks like she's ready to play linebacker. You, you know, she said, "Just because I have an Adam's apple doesn't make me any less of a woman." <laughs> <laughs> Did she really say that? That's what I hear. <laughs> huh. Mm-hmm. Well, then she must be reading the reports, too, that she's actually named Michael. Because I can't find her any place in, in, the, in the distant past. It's on Facebook. Somebody called her McGilla Gorilla. <laughs> well, yeah, but no, she does have one person that says, no, I remember Michelle when we were going going through grade school together. Uh, I think her name is uh, Blazy Ford or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, they were both on the football team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, she's still trying to recover from it. <laughs> now that was <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> that was fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fucking fun. Um, now, this is the thing that really irritates me as a former you know, guy who considered himself a Republican, is about five minutes later, he's got the basic audacity to go and complain about, oh, you know, these Democrats, uh, they're always they're always talking about how Trump's a racist. They're always talking about this and that and how the Republicans are racist. And, you know, they have no evidence. There's nothing that they can say. Uh, now, this all happened at about 4.14, 4.15 p.m. yesterday, uh, California time. Um, again, on KNZR, uh, local Bakersfield radio station. So um, th- this is just, it's disturbing. It's embarrassing. It's stupid. Um, how this guy has a job in media um, is beyond me. This is a guy who told the the gal that he, uh, you know, let go in the wrongful termination suit that I think you'd be suited better at a corporate restaurant. I mean, that's just sounds... So much like after listening to this guy for really only like six, seven days on the radio, like something that he would say because his just opinion of people outside of his group is reprehensible. Um, he had he he spent a lot of the show complaining about the I believe it's the the Kern County uh, supervisors or commissioner's office. I forgive me because I it escapes me at the moment that they had the audacity, the audacity, he says, to pay um, their workers who have children an additional $500 a week, or I'm sorry, per month, 500 a month um, during COVID, um, talking about what they think they're better than us, that sort of thing. I'm like, maybe, you know, you don't have to agree with every policy, but maybe they're just, you know, trying to help their employees out. And then he's complaining that they have too many human resources uh, people in their department. Let me tell you, you can never have too many of that. But I'll close out on this. And like I said, this is going to be a short video. Um, it is tropes like the Megillah comment, um, the man comment, this sort of stuff that just people have had a tendency to, to glean, gloss over for many, many years. And... Like I said, I'm fucking done. I'm done letting this stuff pass. And I think the guy needs to be held accountable for it because, frankly, he's a piece of fucking shit. So, you know, you don't like it, Terry? Step to me. So you're a fucking bitch. And I'll tell you that right to your face. So uh, let's take this fucking clown out. Let's fucking do something about it. Let's make him hear the voice. All right, guys? Um, We'll see you Sunday on the show. Be excellent to each other. To steal a line from my friend Matt Delhauer, who stole the line from Bill and Ted.